So, we can still make videos at home, right? Yes, we can, even if we're not going out on the trains, especially if uh, you've got, like me, several tube maps at home. So what you'll need for today's video to join in, because this is something that you can do at home as well to have some fun, uh, is grab a copy of the latest tube map. Now, if you don't have a physical paper copy, just go online, link in the description to the TFL website, and you can download uh, as a PDF the latest tube map there, the December 2019 one. Uh, either get it on screen, as we'll describe in a minute, or print it out, you can print out the PDF onto an A4 or larger, whatever the size of your printer is. Now I've gone all through my old tube maps, I've got a couple of them here. Uh, what's interesting is that it hasn't always been called the tube map. At the moment it is very definitely, TFL call it the tube map, although really, and again we'll chuck on this later, and I've mentioned this before, should it be called, as I think it should be called, the TFL map of services, because it only shows TFL services. It doesn't, for example, show Thameslink, going through the core in zone one, which would be a really handy thing. Uh, I thought for a while that it was TFL that had called it uh, the tube map. It was their naming, but it wasn't. TFL came about in the year 2000. And actually I've got here the earliest one in my collection that I can find with this amazing piece of artwork. This is my favorite, all time favorite tube cover. Uh, this artwork of this couple looking at a map uh, on the wall, on the map, and this is from January 1995 when it was still uh, London Transport, so that was pre-TFL, they were calling it Tube Map. Before that, uh, and this is from, uh, just checking the date, this is from 1993, they were calling it Journey Planner. Before that, go right back to like 1950s and 60s, they were calling it a diagram of lines. Um, go back to 1933, Harry Becks, this is my reprint and not the original, it was called a map of London Underground's Railways. And on this, and I will uh, flash this up on screen as well, it's great to note that on here, you have what I think is the purest of all pure tube maps that have ever been, because I've counted uh, and there are 214 tube stations on this map. And that is the topic of today's video. If you get the current tube map, what's happened is that over time, other things have been added on. So for example, the DLR uh, was put on there back from the 1980s and that's only grown. Uh, they've added on the trams, they've added on the cable car. All these things have been added on to the tube map and it makes me wonder, and thus the title of today's video, how much of the tube map is actually tube? I'm considering all 11 underground lines to be tube. None of this only deep level tube lines actually tube and subsurface lines aren't, no. All underground lines, the 11 underground lines, those are tube. Now, straight away you might say, well the answer is 270. Yes, that is the count of how many tube stations in which TFL define uh, as how many tube stations are on the map. But of course you've got the anomaly whereby some tube stations connect up with the tram or the overground or the DLR. And if you actually work it out that way instead, there are some rather interesting maths and fun and games to be done in terms of how many points on that map or nodes, as I'm going to call them, are actually just pure tube. So what do I mean by that? Well, to put it simply, and this is an activity which you can do at home, we're gonna have a count this is harder than it sounds. I have done this multiple times now, not just this year, I've done it in previous years, I've just never made a video about it before, and I always come up with a slightly different answer. I even get my friend Dave to check it, and he comes up with a slightly different answer. But between us, we think we've come up with the definitive answer. Now, what I mean by pure tube is points or nodes on the tube map, uh, the Metropolitan Line branch out to Amersham, Amersham uh, is a brilliant example because all the stops there, say from uh, Harrow on the Hill onwards going up to Cheshire and Amersham, they're just tube stops. They don't mix with the overground or the DLR or the trams or any or TFL rail, any other mode that's shown on the tube map. Uh, but say for example, I'm trying to find it now, Canada Water on the Jubilee Line is not a pure tube uh, stop because it also is a London overground stop. Whitechapel, not a pure tube because it has the overground going through it. Uh, Romford, definitely not a pure tube station because it's only the overground and TFL rail. Black Horse Road is Victoria Line and overground, not a pure tube stop. So. My question to you is, and this is the thing that we're going to do as an activity, uh, we're going to pause the video, you need to get a copy, as I say, of the tube map, print it out. Now what you can do, I think the easiest way of doing it, is to get like a black marker pen, and you literally 
count them off. So here I'm going High Barnet, one, Todger and Whetstone, two, Woodside Park, three, West Finchley, four. And you can cross off all the stations as you go and make a note. So make a spreadsheet, make a text file and make a note of all the ones that are just pure tube. And then uh, the Baker Loo line uh, coming down uh, from Harren Wheelstone is a great example where there's a whole run of overground plus tube stations. So put that in a separate row or column on your spreadsheet. Count the ones that are tube plus overground. Uh, then count the ones that are TFL rail plus tube. That, for example, would be the two out at Heathrow. Uh, Ealing Broadway is now tube plus TFL rail. Um, yeah, count the anomalies that are, say, the TFL rail plus overground. You've got to break down what all the separate modes are. The separate modes are, I've got my list here. There are stations which are just pure tube. There are stations which are just pure tram, DLR, overground, TFL rail, River piers, I can tell you now there are 11 of those, and cable car stops, counting those separately, there are two of those. But there's also then, there's your mixed modes. There's tube plus TFL rail, there's tube plus tram, actually there's only one of those, uh, Wimbledon. Uh, there's tube plus overground, there's tube plus DLR, and then there's TFL rail plus overground, uh, and then there's the amazing anomaly. Actually, the only TFL rail plus overground is Romford. Uh, Liverpool Street is then the only anomaly, which is, uh, what is it? It is tube plus TFL, plus overground, and then there's the anomaly, the only one, which is Stratford, which is tube plus overground, plus DLR, plus TFRL. It's the only station on the map which has all four modes going through. What you need to do is total those all up. Once you've done that, come back and we'll compare numbers. So are you ready to go away and tick off and make a list of how many pure tube, pure trams, plus all the other mixed modes which I talked about? And I'll give you a clue, the total number of nodes going to be around 470. That's what you should come up with in terms of how many individual points on the tube map are there. We're going to go for around 470. Uh, that's what we're looking at. So go away, pause the video and then come back. So do that now. Hello, are you back? Have we done that? Okay, I've done this several times and this is what I think is the definitive list. What I've got is that there are 472 nodes on the tube map. 235 of them are pure tube, 38 a tram, 41 a DLR, 84 overground, 25 a TFRL, 11 repairs, uh, two cable cars, uh, one tube and tram, which is Wimbledon, uh, four tube plus TFL rail, 25 tube plus overground, three tube plus DLRs, and then Romford, which is TFL rail overground, the only one, Liverpool Street, which is the only tube TFL rail overground, and Stratford, which is the only tube overground DLR and TFL rail. So I think that there are only 235 nodes on the tube map, which are pure tube stations, which integrate mix with nothing else. So 235 uh, divided by 472 times 100 is 49.7. So under half of the tube map now is just tube stations. Of course, we all know that there are actually 270 tube stations. So divide that uh, by 472 and it's at 57.2%. So only 57% of the tube map is actually tube or the TFL rail map of services, as I think we should be calling it. If they were to add, I showed it the other end. If they were to add, if TFL were to add more non-tube modes of transport to the tube map, and that figure ever fell below 50%, could you be justified in calling it the tube map anymore? Should you be calling it the TFL rail map of services? There was an article online, link in the description saying, please TFL, could you add Thameslink back onto the tube map? If they did that and Thameslink stops appeared, including maybe some non-tube ones, would that then increase the count of non tube stations on the map and bring the number of non-tube stations down further and it might fall below 50%. Who knows? There we go. Hope you've enjoyed counting on your tube map uh, how many tube stations it actually are. Uh, I will put my summary of figures on screen now for you to compare to mine. If you've watched this video all the way through and you still haven't done it yet, go away and do it now. I'll put some extra rules uh, and stuff in the description. Put your count as to how many you think appeared on the tube map in the comments too. Thanks very much.